guys, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, I am Joy Francis of joyfitwolf.com, your fitness coach, changing one million lives through movement. So if you want to go and join the movement with your lovely community, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, leave a comment in the comment section, and like, share, all right? We all family here. Now, today I'm going to talk to you about 21 days of clean eating. All right, for those of you who know it, you know it as the Daniel Fast. I've just completed the Daniel Fast for spiritual reasons. It's prayer and fast. That's why I do it. And I don't share much about it on my social media because it's something private to me. And I know people always say, well, you know, you got to share. You got to share. Some things I like to keep private. All right. I said I will do a YouTube video only, you know, not share it during the process. But after the process, I'll share. And I do this video just for you. Maybe you're thinking about trying a new diet. Maybe you're thinking about trying the next thing, the key to this, to that. And listen to the end of the video because I'm going to share with you the benefits of this, the research benefits, the benefits that it has helped me. I've been doing it for over five years. I've been doing it. And um, what, you know, what changes I've seen in my body and all those different things. All right. So the Daniel fast, 21 days of clean eating. It's what the Daniel fast is, all right? So what does clean eating mean? No processed foods. Let's just start what it is. This is what it isn't. <laughs> what, what it is, is no processed food. What it isn't is, well, I'm gonna cut out meat, but I'm still gonna eat fish. I'm still gonna eat eggs. That's not what it is, all right? Some people modify it to do different things, but this is what I did. I did it fully committed, 21 straight days of nothing processed, no eggs, no milk, no dairy, no animal products, uh, nothing processed, right? I made everything from scratch, not scratch, but I ate fruits, vegetables, those type of things. So what it is, is fruits, vegetables, whole grain, all right? The natural oils, natural fats, avocado, nuts, all right? No dried raisins, no dried cranberry, because if you look closely, there's sugar in those ingredients. No sugar. I had no sugar. Listen, it was like off. I really love doing it because it really helps me to clarify a lot of things in my mind, my life. Um, it, it is the bomb. <laughs> and if I tell you it's the bomb, cause I'm not a fan of dieting. I'm a fan of a healthy lifestyle and a healthy lifestyle come with, you know, cutting out the bad stuff or the stuff that's not so healthy for you and eating more of the good stuff and you could eat the bad stuff now and again your cake and ice cream but you might you can't be eating it every day you know what i mean and I, I and let me just take that back not bad stuff the stuff that's not good for you because i don't want to label you know foods bad bad and good is how we use it that's how it become bad or good for us all right so you want to use and eat foods that fuel you now on the Daniel fast, which is 21 days of clean eating, some of the benefits are like, I'm going to list the scientific benefits, the stuff that I've researched, and then I'm going to tell you what it has done for me. All right. So some of the benefits are it helps with your sugar addiction. A lot of us are addicted to sugar. When we go buy coffee, it's not because we buy the coffee, buying the coffee because the, the frapper, wrapper, wrapper, chino, whatever. <laughs> it's because it's loaded with sugar and, and fats and, and milk and, you know, all these different things. We buy the donut because it's loaded with sugar. We don't intentionally do it. We, we buy the donut because we want the taste of a donut. But there's the sugar in there, the breads, all of the sugar. So it helps break your sugar addiction. Because for 21 days, you're really not eating no sugar. You're not eating only water. All right? <laughs> it also supports your body's detoxification process. What that means is with the fruits and vegetables, a lot of fiber coming in your system is going to help to flush out toxins and, and whatever nonsense is in there. All right, you're gonna go to the bathroom a little bit more regular. And um, for me, I, I mean, if I don't go to the bathroom for the day, I know something's wrong because I'm always, like after I eat two, three times, I'm in there. I know it might be TMI, but this is the real stuff, guys, when it comes to health and wellness. All right, this is the real things. A lot of people, um, some people miss, for the week, they might go two, three times for the week. And that's bad. That means the stuff you're eating is not coming out. You know what I mean? So. Um, let's, <laughs> let's not go too much into that process, but it helps to detoxify your body. So you, it really, really have some great benefits to doing the 21 day fast. Whether you just do it for the weight loss. Also, 
healthy weight loss, you want to help lose weight loss healthily, that's one of the things to do. They always, you know, you always probably hear, oh, the Mediterranean diet is the best diet, those types of things. This is more or less like, seems like the Mediterranean diet a bit, but without like any animal products, all right? Nothing processed. And from my research, it has said that it's one of the most sustainable diets, all right? It's not so much a diet per se, but a lifestyle, all right? It's sustainable. So, you know, you can sustain it for the long term. You can have whole grains. It's not like, oh, well, you can't have calves. Oh, you can't have this. Or you can only have this, this, this. You know what I mean? It's really sustainable. And in my experience, I've been doing it for over five plus years. Uh, listen, energy levels skyrocket when you're doing this fast. Yep, energy levels go up, way up, out of the zone. Like you firing on all cylinders. Like for me, I'm up late, studying, doing work, doing research. I'm like, where all this energy come from? And it's just so, it's just like good energy. And then when it's time for bed, I go sleep. All right, or I might be reading before I go to sleep. Stuff that doesn't happen normally because you're so tired. Um, you know, you're working hard, you're doing different things, but then you're eating certain things that may not be helping promote that, you know, high energy level. So that's one of the things, high healthy energy levels your energy level is going to skyrocket in the the first week you're going to feel nauseous feel headache you know different type of things if you're doing it right and you're drinking a lot of water you know you're going to be okay but you're going to feel different changes and you're going to be going to the bathroom um but the energy level when you start to feel it you're going to be like what is this am i on something <laughs> um the other thing it does is improve your skin health now we always you know you always hear the um the saying that skin health is healthy skin is from the inside out that is true if you have acne different things i uh, i realize that when i eat nothing processed my skin clears up i get acne especially that time of the month i tend to break out if i eat certain foods if i eat meat too much i break out too just different things i know what i eat when i eat it what happens to me and that's the other thing too knowing your body knowing what works for, for you what doesn't work for you um i have um client who recently discovered she might be gluten intolerant like you gotta know the things that work like when you eat this how does it make you feel do you feel bloated do you feel you know um do you get heartburn think about it and this is why mindful eating and eating intentionally like sitting down eat and really taking your time and eating comes into play because you know when you at the end of the um your meal or whatever it may be you want to really understand how your body feels and for me but let's just say if I eat fried food versus maybe I made a quinoa and veg something, the difference I do feel the difference because here I my my I, there's some aftertaste I would feel if I make the chicken myself, hardly likely. But if I bought some fried chicken, I would feel an aftertaste. Um, sometimes I get headaches, but if, on the other hand, if I eat the quinoa mixed with some veg and whatever else going on there, I don't feel stuffed. And I've figured that out. Like, listen, this thing is, it's simple and very simple. We complicate it. It's very, very simple eating clean. And I feel stuff when I eat the stuff on the left. But the stuff on the right, I feel basically full enough that I could drink water, not over full, not over stuff, not sick, not tired, not lethargic or itis or any of those things. All right. Um, those are some of the benefits. The other thing, it promotes healthy digestion. A lot of us have a lot of digestion issues when it comes to, because we don't eat the right things. And then the foods they're making these days, oh, that's a whole nother video. You know, the right foods, if you diet organic, not organic, it's all, all kind of GMO this and GMO that. So healthy digestion, all right? A lot of us not going to the bathroom often enough because our digestion, digestive system is messed up from bad eating or drinking or whatever it may be you know what i mean so this 21 days of what i did has and i love doing it, i do it every year so it, for me it's like I'm, I'm used to it all right i i did lose a couple pounds i think i lose about um yeah five to seven pounds i wasn't intentionally trying to lose weight but i was working out all at the same time because I can't stop working out. I'm a fitness coach. I have clients to train. And also I have my own program that I do for myself. So I was constantly doing my workout. I feel some of my clothes. I literally have um, 
and I'm like, Wee, whoa, this, these leggings feel like it's a little bigger. And you know, leggings are tight stuff. So I did lose some couple inches here and there. I didn't really do a measurement in the beginning because as I said, I do this for my own spiritual reasons. I do a prayer and fast and this is how I, um, you know, that's what I do, but I didn't do it for no weight loss reasons. And this is the reason I'm sharing the video after and not during. So just respect my, um, you know, spiritual time then. Um, so if it is you decide you want to try this, no, I list all the benefit. If you decide you want to try this, hey, Joy, Joy said, blah, blah, blah. Please check with your doctor, your physician, especially if you have health problems, you want to check first. And if you, you might be allergic to this and check first with your doctor before you try anything. All right, we know there's the different fat diets, there's the keto, there's this. Listen, everything works when you do the work, but everything does not work the same for everyone. All right, the keto might work for A and B, it didn't work. Because for me, the keto wouldn't work for me. I'm not a fatty and meat eater. Like I'm not big on eating a lot of fats. Like avocado, I'll eat, but I'm not a big bacon fan. If it's turkey bacon, I'll eat it, but turkey bacon, not that fatty anyway. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not a big meat eater or red meat, so it will be hard for me to do the keto, all right? Unless they tell me I can eat salmon all the time and fish, I'll be good with that, <laughs> right? Um, so different things work for different people. Not because something worked for somebody means it's gonna work for you. You gotta figure out your journey, your process when it comes to eating, whatever, and, and figure out what works for you. But please consult with your, you know, professional, uh, whether it's your doctor or your, you know, registered dietitian, where they can help you, guide you in that area. Um, I hope this video brings some sort of clarity or made some type of sense, and hopefully you're gonna try maybe once for the week. Turn on your plate, um, you know, from processed foods and, and, and really, you know, see how it works for you. All right, guys, till the next video, peace, love, and fitness.